Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate your Microsoft OneDrive folder with your native Linux desktop using an application called OneDriver. Like many people, I use Cloud Storage as my personal offsite backup, and historically I've used Dropbox since they had a native Linux application, but I've recently switched to OneDrive since it was cheaper, and plus my wife uses Office 365 for her work. Now the problem with this was that there's no actual native OneDrive application for Linux, so I've had to make do with the web version of OneDrive whenever I wanted to upload and move folders around. Now luckily there is a native OneDrive client for Linux called OneDriver, and the way it works is by specifying a mount location on your system, in this case the one that's going to contain my OneDrive folder, it will allow me to save, edit and create files in the same manner of using the native OneDrive application for Windows. And more importantly, it supports on-demand syncing, meaning I don't have to demand my entire OneDrive folder, only what I'm currently accessing. Now, the installation of OneDrive will vary depending on your distribution. In my case, I'm running Ubuntu 21.04, so I'll be installing it straight from the dev file found on the PPA site. But all other installation methods are covered on the project page. Either way, once you've installed the application, launch it from your application launcher. Once OneDriver is opened, you want to click the plus button and specify the folder that you want to use as a mount point. In my case, I've created a folder called OneDrive, but it can be whatever you want to call it. And now you'll be prompted to tap sign to your Microsoft account. Once done, your file browser should open the OneDrive mount point and start populating it. Now, if you do want this location to be mounted automatically on login, then make sure that you tick the start mount point button here. Now at this point you can close OneDriver. So the amount of location will allow you to create, delete and edit files and folders that are found on your OneDrive folder and the changes will be reflected both ways. You can read about all the features on the project page itself. Now one little thing I did notice is when I create a file, sometimes a temporary file might be created, but you can manually remove that and it'll do no harm to your system. So an alternative to OneDriver is Rclone, which is better suited for transferring larger files or connecting to other cloud storage solutions. Rclone is command line based, but there are several GUI front ends that do exist. Fundamentally, the process is the same as OneDriver. You specify a mount point, and then you sync your cloud folder to that directory. So with that, you have an open source alternative to the native Windows OneDrive application. Thanks for watching guys, and if you did find this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like, Check out the rest of the content on the channel, subscribe to support me, and I'll see you again soon. See you soon. Bye.